What's up, guys? Hope you enjoyed the B-roll segment there. As you can see, we just spent last week at Con Expo out in Las Vegas, uh, the world's largest equipment and construction trade show. It was mind-blowing. And so as a first-time visitor, as somebody who's kind of looking in from the outside from a lot of these construction worlds, I just wanted to give you my takeaway. Um, you know, my thoughts on it, what it was like, uh, what it was like experiencing it, what I saw. Um, I guess the first thing is, is it's totally overwhelming in size and scale. The money spent, the effort, the elaborate exhibits and setups, I've never seen anything like it. Um, the, uh, just the amount of equipment that was there, the thousands and thousands of pieces of equipment there from um, the smallest machines and bits and tools all the way to giant. I mean, I assume some of the larger machines are like mining sized machines. Uh, goodness, that giant Komatsu machine and dump truck inside of a convention hall. It was, it was truly mind blowing. Um, but I guess my takeaway is, you know, one of the things that comes up a lot with our marketing business, are events still a viable way for businesses to reach their client base? You know, with all the digital mediums, all the content, I think that it definitely raises that question. What I loved about Con Expo was it was an opportunity to see a setting where it still works really well. It was mind blowing the participation. There were 177,000 people in attendance. So events are alive and well. And uh, so what makes a great event? Um, not everybody obviously can put on an event like Con Expo. They have the supporter of so many industry giants and sponsors who come in and are willing to invest in the event. And, um, but I, I think the thing was, was one, they only do the event every three years. So I think they're recognizing that of this scale, this scope, this type of buy-in, um, you do have to give a little bit of breathing room in between the events. So now it becomes, um, I heard the word used, delicacy, you know, that people can look forward to. And I thought that was really cool. I also think if you do something unique and you bring things that people can't get online and you can't see and touch these machines online, you can't see the variety, the breadth, the depth of all this. You can't see all these people on a regular basis. You're not going to have access to all these things. So there was a uniqueness, there was a reason to be there. The seeing, the touching, the tactility um, couldn't be replicated. You know, I, I saw a really great effort put into content, you know, from individuals, um, you know, like myself, and obviously I didn't put out that much content, I put out some stories and, and, you know, this, and then what we produce for our client. But, uh, you know, the expo itself, they had a media area um, with a podcasting room and interview rooms and, um, you know, really great effort put into that. And I saw they were putting out a lot of content. And I think the realization is, is that a successful event, even when there's nearly 200,000 people there, also has to be successful in a digital world because there's millions of people who are interested in what's going on. So I think multiplying that impact is, is also an important thing. I, I think also giving people something different. You know, I think it was like, oh, you can't, not just from an exhibit standpoint, but from an education standpoint. It was hugely inspirational for me to see this event. I mean, they had... I guess it was four exhibit halls, you know, the largest exhibit halls, if you're not familiar with the Vegas Convention Center that you've probably ever seen, totally full. So all four million square feet, I believe it was, you know, totally full. There was uh, five lots, giant lots. And I think the one thing I noticed when I looked at my B-roll is that even though we were there for a few days, I only captured a tiny fraction of it. I'm like, I'm looking at this, I'm like, this doesn't do this event justice. You know, I've shown, I've walked around and things I thought that were interesting, I picked the camera up, but there was no way for me to capture the size of it or to capture the breadth of it or the diversity going on there. I didn't even visit, you know, I probably visited two of the halls. Uh, uh, you know, I visited two of the lots because we just ran out of time. So hopefully you'll check out some other people's content. I heard um, there was some really amazing exhibits in some areas that I didn't see and I'm, I'm disappointed that we didn't get to them. But, you know, I look forward to checking out the other stuff that people put up to see that. Um, overall, it was an amazing event. If you have anything to do with these industries at all, or you just even find the equipment fascinating, I would plan to go in three years when they have it again. It is worth seeing what is there. And if you are part of the industry, it really is a can't miss. It's a can't miss event. 
Um, I think the hard thing with events like that is you really can't see everything. And as much fun as it would be to go and see everything, uh, I think you have to go in with the realization that like, I need to see what's important to me. I need to hit some high spots. Maybe there's just a couple of fun destinations I want to get to. But when you look at from one end of the event to the other, it was like a legitimate 30 plus minute walk from the festival grounds uh, to uh, the, I can't even remember the diamond lot or whatever. It was probably maybe like 40 or 45 minute walk. And um, that's a lot. That's a lot. So it's, it's very exhausting to deal with it like that. But anyway, I hope you enjoy, um, you know, I hope you enjoyed the compilation there. I hope maybe you got to see some things you didn't see elsewhere. I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Um, and it, it is definitely a huge inspiration for any future things we do in events, whether we're do, working with a vendor, working with a promoter, creating the event ourselves, to see what is possible when people really pull out the stops. Um, the AV, the tech at these booths was, and I hate to even say the word booth because they weren't booths, they were giant, it was absolutely incredible. And um, I love to see this leaning in to all these different avenues to make these interactive experiences. Um, so it's not just seeing and touching the equipment, but it was, um, I think that the indoor portion of the John Deere uh, setup, you know, they had a place where you could stand and it would show the proximity safety uh, equipment on the machine. So the machine was on the video screen, it was backing towards you and you were standing there and it would show, you know, it was just super interactive. I'm not doing a good job explaining that. But yeah, I think, um, I think it was totally inspirational. Check out all the content you can, especially if you're involved with events. Um, I think we all need a dose of inspiration because I think we all attend events and it's like, you know, a table and a booth and a, you know, and a backdrop and, you know, I think we need our mind expanded to really what's possible and how can we make events viable and great and make them memorable experiences for people, which is such an important thing in marketing is creating memorable experiences for your audience, whether you're doing that in person or you're doing it digitally. So this was totally mind blowing, totally awesome. Um, I'd love to hear from anybody that checks this out. Uh, you know, what did you think of the event? What were your, what were your standouts? What were your takeaways? What was your favorite exhibit? There, my favorite was probably the outdoor John Deere exhibit. I mean, just the feeling, the music, the video, the giant building they just set up in a parking lot um, with a restaurant. It was like three stories tall and had a store and everything else. That just really blew my mind. Um, that and the size of the equipment that Komatsu brought to the inside um, of the exhibit hall. Both those things really blew my mind. But what was your favorite? Uh, so that's enough rambling for now. Thanks for watching. Um, and we'll be back with some more regularly scheduled marketing content and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.